Hello everyone. Let us continue with the functions of the hypothalamus. Today I am going to cover about regulation of water balance. Different mechanisms involved in regulation of water balance are through thirst center which is located in the lateral hypothalamus through osmoreceptors which are located in the supraoptic nucleus. Let us go through thirst mechanism. Decrease in the extracellular fluid volume causes intense desire for water. Thirst sensation is completely satisfied only when plasma osmolality, blood volume and arterial blood pressure are corrected. Now let us go through how osmoreceptor works for regulation of water balance. Increase in the plasma osmolality send signals to the osmoreceptors of hypothalamus. So it causes release of antidiuretic hormone from the posterior pituitary. Antidiuretic hormone acts on kidney. It causes increased water reabsorption from distal convoluted tubules and collecting tubules. This is a solute free water reabsorption. Thus, it reduces plasma osmolality back to normal. There is also a role of renin angiotensin system. Decrease in the circulating blood volume increases renin secretion from juxtaglomerular apparatus that is due to renal hypoxia. This released renin causes more and more formation of angiotensin 2. Increase in the angiotensin 2 formation causes stimulation of antidiuretic hormone from the posterior pituitary and antidiuretic hormone will act on distal convoluted tubules and collecting tubules and thus increases water reabsorption. It also causes a stimulation of thirst mechanism thus increases the water intake. So by both this way by releasing antidiuretic hormone from the posterior pituitary and by stimulation of the thirst center, it reduces the plasma osmolality back to normal. Thank you.